Well, I think everyone always has something to say. Like when I was injured, everyone's like, oh, is she ever gonna play again? Is she ever gonna be the same that she was before? And now it's, am I ever gonna win another Grand Slam? And you have to kind of just set them aside because at the end of the day, it's you can only control what you can control. You can only control yourself. Joined now by tennis star Sloan Stevens, who is here to announce a new partnership with the Built with Chocolate Milk campaign. Sloan, did you drink any chocolate milk to get ready for this interview? Uh, yes. Actually, I had just I just came from practice, so I was drinking chocolate milk on the way home. You know, and it's a recovery drink, right? Uh, you know, and bouncing back for you, you lost early at Indian Wells and have struggled a little bit since your amazing U.S. Open win to capture your first Grand Slam. What's been the issue and, and how are you working to turn it around? Well, I think after the US Open, I think it was super overwhelming, um, not playing for 11 months and then obviously um, winning a Grand Slam, not something that I was intending to do. I think I was just happy to be playing again and I was like working my, went my way back and um, then all of a sudden you win a Grand Slam and everything changes. So um, I wasn't a hundred percent healthy when I came back, but I just wanted to be on the court so badly. And I think I didn't take enough time for myself after the U S open. Um, so, you know, obviously recovery and taking care of your body is so important. And um, I think that's why this shop, the partnership with chocolate milk is amazing because it's something that I actually do use and I'm super passionate about. So um, it's definitely helped me bounce back. So I think it's a really awesome thing. And you have a chance to get that swagger back at the Miami Open. How are you feeling heading into it? I'm so excited. Obviously, I grew up in Florida, so um, I have a lot of friends and family down there. So I'm super excited to get back there. Um, the weather's amazing. It's another great tournament. You know, just being able to play in the States is incredible. And back-to-back um, -back tournaments in the States is amazing. So I'm really looking forward to it. Now, currently, you're ranked number 13th in the world rankings. What do you think of that number? That's pretty good. Not bad. I mean, not too many. <laughs> Only one person at the, this week can say that they're ranked 13 in the world. So um, it's honestly not a bad thing. Obviously, I'd like to improve and get better. Um, but I'm just really looking forward to playing a full season, healthy, and just getting back on the court and being able to play every week. All right. You recently said you only wanted to play about another five years on the tour, in part because you wanted to have a baby. But watching Serena Williams might cause you to reevaluate. You, you've had an, uh, a little bit of an up and down relationship with Serena in the past. How is that relationship now? Um, it's fine. Obviously, I'm so happy for her. Having a baby is probably the most incredible thing you can do. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stop for five years to have a baby. That was just like something that we were talking about. Um, but I definitely think that um, I'm super happy for her. Obviously, being a mom is incredible. So, um, yeah, I'm happy for her. And that's really all, I mean, maybe it's, hopefully she wins another Grand Slam or something. And then I can like, oh, I'm going to have a baby and come back so I can do that too. Now, can you draw a direct line from Serena and all the success she's had, uh, the type of role model she is for others to you, the, the first uh, American uh, to win a, a, a major uh, event like that on U.S. soil in a long time? Yeah, I mean, obviously, Venus and Serena, they've been incredible for our sport. Honestly, Serena being the greatest athlete probably of all time. Um, she's been an incredible role model for women, for tennis, um, for our sport. So I think, you know, just being able to be to play at the same time as her and Venus. Venus has been amazing for our game. Um, I think it's just been a real honor and just a treat to be able to share the court with them um, on a number of occasions. Now, chocolate milk, obviously delicious. Though I bet you there are people out there who are skeptical of it as a sports drink. Why are they wrong? Well, it's scientifically proven to help you recover faster. So um, I think that's one thing that it helps really well with recovery. And it tastes amazing. So who wouldn't want to drink chocolate milk as their recovery drink? Well, good luck um, with the chocolate milk and good luck at the Miami Open. Sloan Stevens, appreciate the time. Thank you.